All right, so I wanted to <clears throat> make a Misfit Ray video because there are almost no reviews on the internet. And uh, so here I have an unboxing. I bought this through Amazon. Um, rush shipping, it came within two days. And the reason I got this is because it is completely waterproof, swim proof. The battery lasts for six months and because of my lifestyle, um, I needed it to be able to get wet um, all the time. Um, I got used to Misfit through my Pebble watch and I liked it so much that I got this. <laughs> Another reason is because it's not a watch, it just tells you how far along you are with your goal. Um, the reason why I didn't get the, the Fitbit is because there's too many things going on, I just really needed to record my activity. The packaging is nice. It comes in a nice uh, slim box. It's a small product. It's deceptively small. It's a lot smaller than it looks in video. It comes with three button cell batteries. And the way they did the packaging is a little bit weird, as you'll see. The material of the armband is a nice satin plastic material. It has a little bit of give to it, um, but for the most part it's a hard satin and it is actually nice on your wrist. It doesn't feel scratchy or anything like that. Um, in another review I heard that it was kind of cheap um, for this price point maybe, but I think it would do really well with getting wet, with getting salty, with getting sweaty. So I have no issues with it. The mechanism is very simple and I don't see it breaking anytime soon. Accelerometer itself is encased in a anodized aluminum type casing. It's thin, but it's very strong and it has a nice finish on it. So now I'm just figuring out how to take the button cell battery out, um, the battery tray out. And you do that by turning it upside down and turning uh, counterclockwise. You can see it just pops out. It was actually uh, oiled up very well, if you can see it on the black part. It's, it's actually like some type of lubricant, which I thought was interesting. Um, probably creates a little bit of a seal and helps you to open it. So you pop the button cells in and you're good to go. So after the startup sequence, letting you know that it's on and its Bluetooth is working, uh, to put it on it's pretty simple. You just put the loop end on the top of your wrist away from you and turn it over and pull it through. And as soon as it goes on, you notice how light it is. Um, it's incredibly light and the touch points are minimal. So you really don't even feel it's there. Um, there's almost no way to this thing and it's, it feels very natural. Um, <clears throat> you will absolutely not know it's there after a while. And now I'm just setting it up through my phone. Um, it helps if you have the Misfit app installed already, and it's detected my device, and now it wants to update to the latest software. So I let it do that, and let's fast forward a bit. Now we're finished the update. And it's going to tell you a couple things. Uh, it's going to ask you if you wanted to tell you to vibrate. Uh, if you're sitting for too long. And tell you about how it can start an alarm and things like that. It can wake you up on vibrate. And now you're ready to use your Misfit Ray to see how far you are with your progress without going to the app. You double tap it, as I've learned here. And it 
it'll show you red for I think it's 10% or less than 10% and because uh, I just put it on that's what it was at and that's pretty much it and you can also connect it with Misfits link app to work with if that then this and you can connect it with uh, your iTunes library music you can ask it to take a photo and a bunch of other cool stuff like that So one of the other appeals to me was that this is not a watch. Um, Fossil recently bought out Misfit and you know they do make a lot of watches and I think the whole point of this is not to take over your watch which I was finding that with my Pebble. I had to wear my Pebble as the watch of choice to have Misfit going in the background. So um, one of their selling points is that you can wear this with another watch so I put that to the test and I think you can see that you could probably get away with doing that um, it's small and light enough to not add any weight um, but whether it how it looks to you is up to you whether you're comfortable wearing this with a, a dress watch or a sports watch um, I imagine it would go better with a sports watch like a Formula One like I just showed or G-Shock I was concerned with the aluminum hitting the metal of the watch I was wearing, but it really doesn't seem like it will scratch at all um, because it's still light and soft material. Um, I think it works well with the Misfit, I mean, excuse me, the G-Shock. And as you can see, you could, you could probably get away with it. You could even turn it upside down. Um, but the, the point is, if you don't want to take this off, if you want to wear a different watch, you can. And one of the best things about it is you can wear it as a necklace, you can put it on your ankle, um, you can get different straps for it to match what watch you're wearing. Here we have a Seiko um, the 007 with a NATO strap. I think it goes pretty okay with this. Um, just, you know, a couple casual pieces. Um, if you loosen, you can tighten it or loosen the Misfit Ray to go close to the watch or away from the watch. Um, and it kind of solves the dilemma that I was having with uh, wanting to wear a nicer watch while still having the motion tracking feature. And last up, we have the, uh, the Pebble. Uh, the Pebble is what introduced me to Misfit altogether. It has a free application um, so once you get a pebble you have misfit installed and you can go ahead and use it um, so you definitely wouldn't wear a pebble and this device at the same time but just for the fun of it I went ahead and put it on I have a shank strap Richard Tracy brand fitted to it it's a great strap for going in the water strong silicone And I think it works well overall, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will try to make a full review after maybe a month or two of wearing it. Drop a comment if you have any questions about the Misfit Ray or you want to see anything else in some upcoming videos. Just let me know. Thanks.